Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's uh, September 30th of 2023, so this is the last day of, of September. Yes. Toddler dies after being run over. Well, I still don't have a bank card. So. Um, I hope it gets here in time so I can pay the rent. Um, it's going to be close, so... I didn't, I've mentioned this before, I didn't, I didn't realize, well, I, it's not, you know, PayPal's fault or my fault, I just didn't, all the years of using PayPal, I, I only use certain parts of it. By the way, somebody just made a donation yesterday, uh, the first donation using uh, PayPal's thing, so want to thank him for that. That's very nice of him. Um, oh, okay. Um, I, ho I think things are going to be better in a few days. I, I got bummed out that I, um, with myself, that uh, stupidity of uh, last week or whatever it was of going to a site that was a website, you know, that uh, for mint, I, it was, you know, it was supposed to be mint, um, but it, no, let's see, that wasn't supposed to be mint, it was supposed to be, I can't remember now, everything has just been so chaotic, but anyway, I should have, um, yeah, it was, I thought mint, yeah, that was it, I was, because my, uh, three month uh, time I just set it back up with men I used men in the past I mentioned this before uh, well I've used a whole bunch of over the years but I had used men and was very happy with them in the past but then um, uh, Google Fi had a thing where you got a discount on uh the phone if I signed up with Google Fi and I did so I canceled Mint and uh, so so it's quite a while later I went back to uh, Mint and so and and I pay you know subscribed you know signed up with them and then three months later it was getting close to three a few days until time to renew and so I decided that I wanted to um, of course renew and have them automatically take it out of my you know my bank account so um, I logged into what I thought was their website it looked like their website and then as soon as I logged in, and then it was asking me for my username and my password. Remember, I was already a, a signed up with them. And then it kept, and I thought, what's wrong with this site? And then I should at that point just bailed out and gone to this, you know, calling in and doing it that way. But I didn't. I kept messing with it a while. And then... Uh, then some crazy stuff popped up, and I made a video about that. The fact <laughs> that this stuff popped up in there was like uh, financial information from years and years ago about me, you know, my name and uh, things like that were appearing. Like, oh, what in the world's going on? But at the time, I, I wasn't thinking, I, I was thinking they were just having problems because this information was, I forget from what uh, company, big corporation or whatever, a financial one, you know, and 
I thought, oh, well, they must have been taken over by this new, by this company, Mint, and, uh, and the data processing people had messed up and whatever. And then I'd, at some point I decided, oh, wait a minute, this is crazy, you know, so I logged out. And so then I called in the next day on you know on the telephone and boom everything you know calling in great service you know you know this that whatever you you know uh, great everything was great and so they uh, took out for that for three months for uh, three months you know and then like the next day or whatever, or maybe the next day, on my bank account, there's a charge for like $150 for Mint service. And then there's two, at the same time, there are two things that were flagged. I'm not sure if all three of these were flagged, but I know two of them were flagged. Let's see, yeah. Okay, one of them that was flat. No, okay, I got it. Yeah, I got an email. Okay, before I logged in to my bank account, I got an email from um, uh, the bank um, headquarters, Wells Fargo Bank. I got a thing. These are there. Here are three suspicious things. Did you, you know, uh, you need to maybe take some action on these. One was a one dollar charge. And one was a dollar fifty charge, and then one was a charge for like I think a hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and they flagged the uh, one item that like a the dollar item or, or the dollar charge. They had that flagged. Oh, this is obvious. You know, it doesn't say this is obvious, but you know, this is okay. But what about these other two? You know. So that's when somebody went into that site or whoever ran that site or whatever, and they generated that. So then I, uh, you know, called into the bank and said, you know, yes. Now they, everybody was they, everybody was real nice in Atlanta. You know, that's I guess where the headquarters is. Uh, and the first lady though that I had. She was real nice, but she was kind of hung up, you know, like, oh, well, she was like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this $1 charge and 150 But then uh, the 150 was listed as a Mint charge, you know, from Mint Mobile, you know. And uh, on that, she just kept, well, now, Mr. Howard, you do have, she says, I just checked, and three months ago you paid, uh, you know, Mint. So you use Mint service, and I said yes, you know. And I said I still use Mint service, and I said that's how I went to the, you know their site, but it wasn't their site, and that's how. And uh, she says, so you're disputing the hundred and fifty. I said, well, yeah, and I also I already paid Mint Mobile, you know, the other you know the other day. And, uh, but she just kept going through this thing. But then I, that's when I got disconnected, my fault. Well, my phone's fault. Uh, I had somebody that, but it's not, not really help in that area. Somebody that told me, and he several times, he's uh, got the same kind of phone that I do. And uh, he said, well, you can go in and there's a thing where you can keep the thing from timing out from the screen going dark on you by making... And I went there, but it, I already had it set in that in that setting. Um, so apparently, when you're in the cell phone mode, apparently that's the most you can get. Well, even that, because it was already set to like ten minutes. Don't go dark, you know. For ten minutes is the most you could do. But a thing went. The thing goes dark, <laughs> like in a minute, you know, two minutes, less than two minutes. I have to have to keep, you know, so. So anyway, um, so they ended up, you know, they're sending me a new card, but 
my money is tied up in the bank and I can't, you know, um, I hope that card gets here because in, uh, uh, on the third is the last day to pay, you know, uh, we've always paid, you know, the, we've never been late, uh, on the, you know, the, uh, lot or the, uh, started to say lot rent. I lived in a mobile home for quite a few years. And, uh, but anyway, um, so also what I found out, and, and that's kind of another dumb thing. I mean, I, I was, I was one of the first people to sign up when, uh, uh, what are we talking about? The, uh, oh, PayPal. When they started, I was one of the very first people. I was on my site telling people, hey, these people, and I forget what it was. So, but it was, I don't know, you open an account and you get X amount of money, you know, and but there was a company before that that I think this company, that PayPal may have, because the other one, you know, started up and they were giving you like $50 or something, you know, sign up and you get $50 for free. I mean, you know, and I put the word out about that on my site. And very few people, you know, I've said, hey, this is free money if you need, you know, this, and whatever. Very few people did it. And then later, PayPal popped up and they weren't gen as generous. I don't know if it was like, Ten or fifteen dollars or something, instead of fifty, maybe it was a little more. It you know just sign up, and uh, so I was putting the word out about that. Now a few more people did it then, but not many. I mean I, you would think that. Just by, oh by the way, when the first Apple phone was being released, I mean the first one, everybody was waiting. Apple's coming out with this, you know. And there was a site that I went to that was a small site just beginning or whatever. And they had uh, just, you know, hey, just sign up. And I forget what you had to do. Just join or, you know, subscribe. or It didn't cost any money, you know. And uh, sign up and we're having a drawing and somebody will get a uh, the Apple. You know, it hadn't been released yet. People were lined up for days ahead of time, you know, outside these places to get the Apple thing. Apple, first Apple sign. So I signed up. And then there again on my site, I said, hey, there's this place that is, you know, they're giving away an Apple iPhone. And all you have to do is just go over and, I think you had to say a couple words or something, you know, why you wanted to win, why you'd like to get it or something. Something it was very, very simple and no money, and the site was free, and they had very few people, you know, they were trying to get people, and so on my side, I was saying, hey, the odds over here of, of, the, of getting this, they're, it's astronomical, you know, it's just almost, you know, there are very few people signing up for this thing, the drawing is in a few days, or, you know, like I was counting it down, so guess who won, and Apple, I did, because there was very few people, you know, and so, of course, they kept trying to get one for me, and then finally they said, you know, Mr. Howard, you know, real sorry for this delay, of course, this was, a, everybody was having trouble getting, the, you know, the phone, and so they said, could we, could we give you money instead, and I said, yes, I took the money. If I hadn't have taken the money, if they'd have got me, you know, an Apple, maybe I would have been an Apple phone person or maybe even an Apple, the whole, you know, rigmarole, but yeah, sometimes it pays to listen to Jim, but so anyway, this, this has been a, oh, what, that's what I was going to say, that's what I was, where I was heading was, um, I was like one of the first people to, you know, use sign up for and use PayPal. And I used it a lot, but I I just used it in, you know, certain areas. A lot of, you know, 
money being transferred between family and stuff like that. Um, you know, the ex-wife, we share this apartment now, you know, and so she would, from her bank, you know, through into PayPal, and then I would have, you know, money already in the, uh, well, the bank, in my bank. And so then I would just go to, you know, PayPal and transfer the money that she sent me to my bank account. Then I would log in to the, and they, the company here went through like three different, the, three different companies, you know, that, that they, they used one, they were okay. And then the second one is better, and then the current one is is even better. And one thing I like liked about it, the second one did it, I think, a little bit. But is that they take it out of the bank immediately, you know? So when I pay the the uh, lot the apartment rent, it's out of the bank, you know, immediately, out of my account. And I like that better than waiting, okay, when is this going to come out? When is this going to come out? Because you know, I like to see, okay, that's all okay. oh, that's taken care of. But, um, so what I never realized was, you know, I was, yeah, I hardly ever keep any money in PayPal. Uh, it's just, you know, some transferring of money around, stuff like that. Now there's a little bit of money in the PayPal account now because they, a uh, very nice guy just uh, made a donation. Where in the heck is that set up anyway on my site? Um, I bet, okay, I bet it'll show up this way. Um, yeah, gift for Jim Howard. So click on that. No, oh, that's my wish list. Never mind on that. No. So that's not it. Um, here it is. Donation via via PayPal. So somebody just you know somebody just used you know used this made a donation of uh, fifty dollars, and uh, that's the only donation made. And. I'm not sure why. I guess PayPal has a reason, but they, the thing that I set up, you can I, you can reset it up again, and you can make it for you know, how many ever, now I think I think a month, is it a month? I think so. Uh, okay. Um, let's click on read more. Okay, that's so that's what it has. Now the person did it anonymously, so I don't want to go over here. Well, I'm not logged in, so I think I could go over to. Uh, but it does show. I guess it shows for me who the you know who that he was very nice. He made it anonymous. Uh, um, and when I have some, I have to have them set up. I have some things set up, but I'm not using them. But like uh, Patreon, I went through the things when they first came out of setting it up, but I haven't turned it on. And there's a couple other things in there that are, you know, that are set up. Um, that are not being used. Uh, and Patreon even went in and set up like some perks because that's, it's easy to do. Um, but um, um, so where what what was I on? Let's see. Oh, okay. So um, so right now I have fifty dollars in my PayPal account. What I did not know after and all these years of uh, did I say? Uh, you know this person. You know did this anonymously, but I was able to see, you know, who, so I, who, I guess whoever sets it up can go in and see. And if somebody does something anonymously, you know, I'm not gonna mention their name. Uh, 
but um, uh, what I never realized, I just sort of thought of like PayPal as a bank, you know, just a bank that's a little bit different, but a bank. Um, Let's see. Oh, so like with Patreon, and then there's something like that. There's a private area. There's a private thing that I can set up. I have set it up, but it's not turned on for, to any, you know any of you. Now I would really like to be able to, but I have the only way to make it like private where it's going to work or whatever would be. Well, the point of having it would be that somebody's paying a little bit of money to go there. Uh, one thing I have. You know, I got divorced when I was at 40 and I had four kids. Um, and I got them, you know, my daughter, set my, you know, my oldest daughter, whatever, you know, you know, gave the kids a com computer at my ex-wife's house, you know, my, where I would, would be our house, you know. And, uh, and then even the ex-wife, uh, I got her, she was, doing paintings and stuff like that and going to malls and sitting there all day long and maybe selling one painting or something. But I gave her, I, and she was doing some other crafts and stuff like that and going to, you know, and I said, you should be doing that on eBay or whatever. And I said, so I gave the ex-wife, you know, a computer and everything that she needed and that worked out for her fine. Not that I ever got any credit for it. Um, um, so, but in all this time of PayPal, I just thought of them as a bank. Okay, um, because, you know, I, I was just moving, we were moving money around and, and other stuff, you know, other stuff like that. Um, But they're not like a bank because um, you have to have the money. Well, I guess they are like a bank in a way, but no, you know. The money has to be, I thought that I could uh, take money out of a bank. Well, I could. I could put money in from my bank, except I can't use my bank to, to you know, because I'm get, they're getting, sending me a new card. But yeah, I thought it was like, and it's not. I mean, you have to have, I thought, oh, I thought I could tell like Amazon, okay, uh, I don't even wanted a, a skeleton or whatever the other day, a few days ago, just before all this was hitting, everything was hitting. And so I said, but just go ahead and order it, you know, just order it. She likes to order stuff from Walmart, you know. I said, just order it from Amazon. So she did. And then it, you know, said, okay, order received, blah, blah, you know. And um, now that was set up to take it out of my, well, it's set up to take it out of my bank account. And then the bank, you know, on the, over the phone when I talked to them about this problem, they, uh, you know, turned out issuing me a new card. So I have, like the rent money and everything is in the bank. I can't take any of the money, you know, I can't take any, I can't move any of the money um, out of the, you know, the, uh, the bank. So I'm hoping that my, uh, new card gets, you know, my new bank card gets here because on the 3rd, uh, we need to pay the, uh, you know, the rent. That's the last day. And we've always paid, you know, I used to pay early and then, uh, so why did we change where we ended up being, oh, uh, Darlene would get her money and I had to wait for that and then she would send it to me PayPal and then PayPal I would put it into the bank and it'd be there immediately and then I would go to the uh, 
site to pay the rent and I would pay the rent and then it would come out immediately, which was great. And then I, did, I knew everything was, I knew the rent had been taken out. Uh, there when I first started using, when they first had a site set up, it didn't, the, the uh, apartment complex, it didn't come out immediately. And I was like, is it coming out? Is it coming out? Is it coming out? Oh, okay, it's out. But now <clears throat> the way it works is, you know, you log, I can log in and it's out. And then I don't have to worry, okay, that I know the rent's paid. I know they got the money and their bank and everything else. But what I did not realize was that I, I couldn't tell uh, somebody to take money out of my PayPal account unless there was money uh, in the PayPal account. So I got my fingers crossed because today is the 30th and in three days, you know, the rent needs to be paid. I have the money, but I can't pay it because I don't have, uh, you know, I have a, a few credit cards, but they don't have, you know, I don't have uh, the kind of, uh, you know, uh, credit score or anything where I can go and, you know, uh, take out a massive amount of money or something because I've tried to keep the cards down in fact, I actually goofed up and closed a, uh, a card or two that I really should have probably kept open. And uh, so, um, here are the, okay, since you're here, let's see. There is a, uh, I have a gift list here. And I really don't need that. But I am, I am sick and tired of this, uh, uh, cell phone. And I want back one of Motorola, you know, I've got on my wish list the, uh, the current one, the stylus, and I actually don't need the stylus. Um, but anyway, I, I'd be happy to have it, but it's $300, but, um, Last year's model would be fine. You know, the 2022 model would be fine. And even the the one before that, which would be less than probably a less, probably 150, I'm guessing, for the one, the year before that. The problem with the year before that is the uh, stylus will only go in one way. And I don't use a stylus very much. Well, I do, I am right now on this, you know. I got something in my eye again because I rub my eyes too much. Um, so I really, it, it kind of bugged me that that stylus, and they, they changed that in the last two uh, new versions of the Motorola Moto G stylus. But, um, Anyway, I'm going to need a chair. I go through chairs like, you know, crazy. And uh, I need this thing too. On the, uh, the, I've had the one I've had that this chair is, you know, has, I've had it forever. And it's lasted forever and ever. But now it's, it's finally wore through some spots here. So then when I'm trying to move the chair, yeah, just like this now, <laughs> it went into the hole, and uh, so, let's see, what else is on these lists or whatever, um, okay, gift for Jim, I'll just go down the list here, okay, uh, oh, Something that I mentioned. I made it. I made it a point when I was from the very beginning. I did not watch my kids' sites or you know anything else, and didn't watch 
you know, I just don't, and uh, I don't, I really don't want them watching my sites, you know. I mean, I, I hope they would check in and see if I'm still alive or something. But anyway, so, I'm assuming there's just a few of you people. Here is my uh, oldest daughter's site, and I do check it, because I've always been interested in plants and stuff. And she, everything she does, I think you'll, I think you'll really like, especially if you have a yard, and if you like plants or whatever, and she's really smart. I can say that because uh, <laughs> she didn't get her smarts from me. Um, got it in spite of me. <laughs> uh, let's see, this is the Amazon Renew site. What is that? Okay. I need to work on, let's see. No, okay. This is a site, an Amazon site, that uh, these are items that have been renewed so you can get them cheaper, you know, or whatever. So, you know, better price you might check out. Okay, back to what's next. Okay, I do recommend these people here and voice over IP and I made a I made a video um, about because I used some other thing for years and years and years voice over IP setup and it was so confusing to use because I'm not too smart it was just confusing I ended up with two accounts and I didn't know which one you know at the same I didn't need two accounts and I was paying for two accounts like two setups, you know. But I didn't know which one. I couldn't tell which which one of these is the one that's um, we're using, and which one of these is not needed. And I just paid for two accounts. Uh, just recently, fairly recently. Uh, okay, that's when we uh, were. Okay, that's like a few months ago, six months ago, I think. When. Uh, I signed up for Verizon, and it turned out for uh, Verizon. Yeah, turned out that it didn't work, and uh, the people who signed us up apparently were not supposed to be signing anybody up, and that this area wasn't ready yet, and so that didn't work out. So I, you know, uh, oh, so I signed up for these because Darlene. Had, we had a, our internet service with Spectrum. We still do. In another day, this is working. You know, Verizon is working. So in another, I'm going to wait. I was going to wait two days, then cancel here, you know. I was going to do that back then. But anyway, her phone service was through because she wanted a regular phone service. Oh, God, you know. Uh, so um, we were getting it, so... I went ahead and signed up because I thought that for the few months ago I thought that was going to work, you know, her, her, the Verizon. So I located this voice over IP people, and this is an and that so we're set up with this, you know, we've been set up and it's working fine, and uh, they have all kind, you know, they have all kinds of stuff and they have great prices and they're really nice and. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, if you use, if you purchase something, I will get a small commission. Um, if you have a YouTube site, I recommend this. And uh, even their six, I think the six dollar a month is the one I'm using. I think, yeah, it must be, yeah. And then, so, yeah, the, the, this really helps you out if you're a YouTuber. It gives you so much data, you know, like how much is, uh, let's see, how much does the, uh, 
raccoon whisperer make and all kinds of information and it so it and it all kind it helps you with your when you're setting something up uh, let's see YouTube buddy okay donations via okay I showed you that I'll show it to you again okay okay here's social blade I think okay uh, this one is another way and it's you can get this I think this information might even be free but if you pay us I think they may have three levels or something I, I think this one is free so you can look up and and uh, but then you can get more information well let's let's see this is is this me okay this is me so you could put in you know whoever you want I've made two thousand. 138 uploads of videos. I have almost 4,000 subscribers. My video views are, is that, is that a million? 600, I guess it is, 1,623,000, you know, whatever. Shows the country you're in, how the chat, what the channel set up for. Uh, when I started with uh, YouTube, August 27th of 2005, uh, my social blade rank. Uh, okay. And, you know, so it gives you all kinds of information. Now, this could just be somebody who's curious about the different sites they go to. And I forget what they charge for this. So, let's see. And then Amazon, the Amazon gift shop. And <clears throat> now, this is one of the links. If if you use this link and you you, you know you, I need to I need to edit this. I need to keep it up to date. But it's, it's the last on my list of things to you know to do. But if you use this link or one of the other links that you see where I have like you know when you go to uh, click on something on my site or whatever. Uh, if you use this link or one of those links and you go to Amazon, you don't have to pr purchase what, you know, you see there. I mean, you just as, if, as long as you're there and then if you go someplace else and purchase something, I will get a small commission. And it's usually like 1% to 3% or something, which is not very much. But, and it doesn't cost you anything. So, um, I guess that's, uh, that's it. Well, yeah, what I did, I guess the point of this is what I did not realize was that, well, I just wasn't thinking. Uh, uh, I thought somebody could, like I thought I could go to the, uh, um, where I pay the apartment rent, I, I guess I thought that, and I never had would had done that or would, you know. But I guess in my mind it was like, well, somebody will, I'll just, you know, uh, pay with uh, PayPal, and they'll go and uh, enter in the the information will be entered in, and then they'll be paid. No, you I, you actually have to have money in that PayPal account. Uh, you don't have to have the money. I mean, you can have it empty, and uh, you can do things. You know, you can go there and and send out somebody, send somebody money. You know, five dollars for their birthday, or you know, who knows, whatever. You can do that kind of stuff. But I can't send somebody to uh, PayPal and have them take out. Uh, 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 $1,100 or whatever unless I have put into PayPal that amount of money, you know, over that amount of money or whatever. So, you know, that's just stupidity on my part. Uh, I, a lot of this stuff, you know, you don't see me 
And that's why you'll see, I'll mention that I like something, you know, a camera or whatever. And I may tell you a little bit about it or whatever, but probably what you're going to see is a link below to somebody who's a hell of a, well, there's a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of people who do fantastic reviews and that kind of stuff. And I'm not that, I'm not going to go in and, and I have this little tiny scale here. I'm, I'm not going to weigh the mouse to see how much it weighs. I'm not going to do, you know, I'll tell you what I, how it looks maybe and I'll show you, if, you know, like with the cameras I can show you the video and whatever, but I'm not going to, you know, how fast does the, you know, does the Logitech G Hero respond to that kind of stuff. So, anyway. Uh, cross your fingers that the post office doesn't lose my bank card and that it gets here no later than the third. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching.